Good morning, my friends. It is Chris, and I am here to talk to you about mudras. Usually on Wednesdays, we do mudras, the language of our hands. Yesterday was a crazy busy day. Um, I had a lot of clients. We started our kundalini stuff, which is unbelievably amazing this round this is the first time i built my own kriya for our sadhana and it's super fun um, i really love it obviously because i made it and um then we had our kundalini class last night for the first time it was just fabulous um we will start seasonal small groups next week on tuesday and thursday we have one spot left i have one spot left in my tuesday at noon group. It meets for six weeks for an hour. You'll get additional um, content. Uh, we'll have discussion on everything Kundalini and Ayurveda, as well as you get full access to the Kundalini sadhana and the classes. Um, so if you are interested in getting that last spot, there literally is like one spot left. First come, first serve. <laughs> I will put the link in the comments um, afterwards for you all um, to use if you're interested in registering for that um, mid-level deep dive into energetics and Kundalini and um, all things that I love. So today, here I am, let's talk about mudras. And today I wanna to share with you Padma Mudra or Lotus Seal is often what it's called as well. This is a mudra of the heart. And I chose this because um, yesterday, one of the things that was on my schedule was I needed to go to a friend's funeral. And um, it was a friend of ours who, died before his time and um, was just an absolutely lovely man, absolutely lovely man. Um, and he was all about the heart. And the funeral yesterday was a beautiful celebration of him. And I learned so much more about him than I even knew before. And um, everything everybody said was all about his heart and how generous he was and what a beautiful friend and brother and husband and uncle and person that he was and it is very true and so today in honor of jose i am offering up um padma mudra for our hearts to connect us all um and to show some love and to share some love because that was really Jose was just a loving, caring person. And so today, this uh, mudra is in honor of Jose, of my friend. So Padma Mudra, it represents a lotus flower. And the understanding of the lotus flower, the symbolism of the lotus flower is the beautiful bloom above the water and beneath it comes from this muck and grime and gunk on the bottom of a lake bed that's where it grows and then it represent it evolves and creates this amazing beautiful um, flower and so the symbolism of that lotus is rising above the muck and um, rising beyond and and manifesting and evolving into this beautiful thing from the hard gunk muck and the grunk, the grime and all of the icks, right? So um, this mudra represents that, right? And it is the mudra that is, one of the mudras that is associated with the heart chakra. And heart chakra is all about community and connection and love, obviously, and understanding that we um, are part of a bigger picture and that together we create beautiful things and that we don't have to stay stuck in that muck and that grime and that mud that we can rise above and create beauty so when we do this mudra it's super simple and you'll see how it looks like a, a lotus flower we just bring our palms together and then we open it up so i keep my thumb and my pinky finger together and we create a cup basically, and this is that lotus flower that opens up. And I like doing it that way. Sometimes I, I teach it where we can just bring our pinkies and thumbs together, but I love it coming from this Anjali Mudra, this togetherness and opening, right? That's such a beautiful um, symbol of opening our lotus flower, 
right? And so then we hold this. And I like to think about this flower or this cup catching all of that communal love and that energy that the universe has for us and funneling it into my body. And so in Kundalini, we know that the nerve endings in our palms and our fingers channel directly in through our arms into our heart brain. And so when we bring that energy of the universe and that connection with each other and that sense of love into the palms, into the hands, then that takes it right into our heart right? So the other thing we can do is we can hold it at our heart. But sometimes I really like to bring my forearms together and lift it. So the thumb is in line with my third eye center with my crown chakra, where that is that introspection and that self-realization. That's that gateway to the bigger, to the beyond. And so that thumb is the uh, lotus flowers at my third eye. And my arms funnel directly into my heart and we hold it like this. You can't see the flower, but there it is. So you can really put this anywhere you want. And I often like to, when my, uh, my hands are at my heart, I often like to turn my gaze into my palms and just look into that and to realize that. So those are two ways to find that Padma Mudra or that Lotus Seal. And as we find this mudra, again, I remind you of the intent, right? So much of our practice is that intentionality of the placement of our hands and the direction of the energy and awareness in our bodies. And so with this Padma mudra, with this lotus seal, the intent is love and heart chakra and connection and community and supporting each other and rising above to create this beautiful new thing like a lotus flower. So have a beautiful day. Hug the ones you love. Tell your friends how much you appreciate them. And I will see you all again very, very soon. Satnam.